everyone it's misty here so as promised i am sharing with you my recipe for flaxseed crackers and or flatbread um i can't call it flackers because that is copyrighted so <laughs> um let's get started so here i'm showing you the ingredients um now before i get too far into this i just want to tell you that i'm not going to share macros because this is all going to depend on what seeds you use. You can legitimately use any seeds. As long as fat, flax seeds are your base or flaxseed meal are your base, you can add any seed you want. So a lot of people do a one-to-one -one ratio. So one cup of water to one cup of flax. The recipe I'm sharing, I do two to one. And that's because when I do one to one, it's too thick and it makes me physically unable to spread them out. So if you're more able-bodied than I am, you may be able to get away with a one-to-one -one ratio, but for me, I need to do two-to-one. And in fact, the next time I make these, I'm gonna add an extra cup of water. So um, I get my flax seeds and my hemp seeds and my chia seeds um, normally from Amazon this day, um, I was out of chia seeds, so and Rob had gone to Trader Joe's to get me my nut butter. So he went ahead and picked them up there. But Amazon is cheaper, so I'll have my exact supplies linked down below. Um, of course, you don't have to get them there, and those are affiliate links. You know, it's up to you. But they, it is cheaper to get it on Amazon, at least in my area. So for my recipe, I have two cups of flax seeds, one half cup of sesame seeds a quarter cup of hemp seeds, and a quarter cup of chia seeds. Um, I'm adding in two tablespoons of garlic powder and then like 9,000 pounds of rosemary. <laughs> Actually, this is like three or four handfuls of, um, this is dried rosemary. When I finally get my herb garden back in, it will be fresh rosemary. Um, these crackers remind me of the ones from Brio, if you've ever been to that restaurant. Um, they make flaxseed crackers and they're so good. And I added four cups of water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stir this together and then I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and let it sit overnight. Um, you may be able to get away with doing it for a few hours, but this was at night. So I just did it um, overnight until the next day. I am going to try to make a, safe, a sweet version of these. I will let you know <laughs> how it turns out. So I'm going to be, this is the consistency that you can see. And the very first time I made it, it was actually a little bit more thinner than this. Um, the only thing it does is it adds more cooking time. So I'm going to divide this into thirds, um, divide it into half, and then one of the halves into half. Um, I'm using a silt hat, but I'm adding um, oil on top of it. I know you're probably going, Misty, the whole point of a silt hat. I get it. I do. But <laughs> this is so sticky that I found that even using a silk pad or parchment paper, I still wanted to add some oil to it. Um, my only complaint is that um, I need to get light olive oil so there's not much of a flavor. So just know that if you use a flavored oil, your crackers will pick up whatever flavor you it takes on. This is the flat um, flatbread version. So I took half of the mixture and spread it out um, all the way. You can see me doing that here. I started with my spatula and then I went in and did with my fingers. The goal is to get this as consistent as you can. Um, the issue that I have sometimes is in the middle, it's like real thick and the edges is not. And so then it's uneven. Here, I had a little accident with my olive oil. You don't need this much olive oil. <laughs> so this is my cracker version. So like I said, I split the dough in half. One half made the flat bread. And then a quarter um, or half of the half is making the crackers. And again, you want to get this as thin as you can. Um, try to make it consistent. Um, but um, the main part is being thin. So... Um, it's gonna be hard to see when I show you, but the difference is this consistency is more like a really thin chip or a cracker. In fact, I made these and ate it with queso and salsa. So good. And then the other is more sturdy, like a flatbread. So these are going in the oven at 350 degrees. Um, again, you're gonna to have to keep an eye on it. It took my flatbread, which is this one, 
two and a, two hours and 15 minutes at 350 degrees and then took my crackers one hour and 15 minutes at 350 degrees and hopefully you can see the difference um, in the depth of the crackers versus the um, flatbread um, it's hard to see on camera but in person they're just you can tell a difference for sure. And this is the color that you're going to want on them. Now, a lot of people ask me, you know, are the flax seeds, are they fishy? I don't get that flavor from them. And plus, like I said, Brio, which is an Italian restaurant, they have one here in Allen, Texas. I know they have them a couple of other places. I was already obsessed <laughs> with their flax seed and rosemary crackers. Um, in fact, when Rob and I very first got together 10 years ago, I was making them at home using like tortillas. So to me, with the rosemary and the garlic, they don't have a fishy flavor, but I, and I absolutely love them. Um, so what I'm going to do the next time I make them, I'm going to add stevia and I have some graham cracker uh what's it called extract you know the flavoring stuff so we'll see if that works so here are my favorite way to eat these um butter yes butter <laughs> if you've never had saltines and butter growing up i don't know what kind of childhood you had um and then um this is cream cheese with the everything but the bagel seasoning um it's also good with borsen just cheese and then my final way um so those two are crackers and then for the flatbread i love putting a little bit of mayonnaise um, a half a slice of swiss cheese and some turkey and they turned out so delicious so that's it guys i will leave my recipe in the description box down below and like i said this is more of a method rather than a recipe again if you're like me and you need to add more water just know that um you'll just have to keep an eye on it and you'll have to cook a little bit longer and all the cooking process does is you're just drying it out so that's it all right guys thanks so much for joining me i appreciate you i hope you have a fantastic weekend i'll see you next week for another weigh-in bye for now